Pen and ink drawing is my pride and joy where I can finalize lines and see the product of my work with beautiful strokes as I glide ink on the paper. To finish out October, I'll be comparing all of the inking tools for manga ranging from technical pens, brush pens, nib pens, and brushes. With every inking tool comes a trade-off of control over line variation, and we'll start from tools with the most control to tools with increasingly varied line width. On one spectrum, you have tools that are easy to control with consistent lines like tentacle pens. Tentacle pens can come in different thicknesses for either fine details or thicker lines. So you can mix and match line thicknesses by switching pens of different measurements and thicknesses, but you can't exactly vary your lines in one stroke. Here's a sample of different thicknesses for my tentacle pens. This is the Sakura Pigma Micron pens ranging from 0.8 millimeters, a thickness I use for major outlines, to as thin as 0.05 millimeters for extremely fine details. Tentacle pens are great for hatching consistent thickness to reach a specific density and value. The main disadvantage of tentacle pens is that because the lines are less varied, there's less impact or a certain je ne sais quoi. You can increase line variation with the brush pen, a pen with an ink reservoir already, but acting similar to a real brush in sensitivity to pressure. The one con I feel about brush pens is that the tips of the brush pens tend to wear out or run out of ink more than a tentacle pen, and it doesn't maintain its crisp lines like a real brush would. Otherwise, they're a great first intro into adding line width or shading big parts of a drawing. Speaking of shading big areas, Sharpies and markers are also a cost-effective tool for shading in big areas. Moving on from pens with ink reservoirs, we'll be looking at inking tools that require dipping like nib pens and brushes. The main challenge of dipping ink oils is that there is a lot more mess involved with potential drips, spills, and splatters. I'd recommend getting comfortable with these tools with a piece of scratch paper to test out the lines before moving on to your manuscripts. Nib pens provide a happy medium between control and line variation as the versatile tool of choice for most mangaka. As the opening of the G pen gets wider with increased pressure to distribute ink at a larger width. Maru pens also can change line width, but it's really made for finer details and thinner lines. In my experience, I've enjoyed using the G pen the most, but there are a couple drawbacks in the preparation and maintenance. First, you need to prepare and take off the oil from the nib so that it can hold and distribute the ink. You can do this by running a nib through a fire or soaking it in alcohol. Next, straight consistent lines are not easy to create and you're better off with the tentacle pen here. Finally, using and maintaining dip pens is a little more time consuming than a typical pen. You can only make lines with the nib facing one way and you can't change directions as easily. Additionally, you have to wash your nibs frequently with alcohol to make sure dried ink doesn't ruin your nib. And you also have to make sure that your nibs don't rust with any moisture on it when cleaning. On the other end of the spectrum are brushes that make highly varied and beautiful strokes, but are extremely sensitive and are harder to control for the beginning artist. While most mangaka use a G pen, Great mangaka like Takehiko Inoue has widely used brushes to ink his work like Vagabond to great effect creating the most impactful scenes in manga with dynamic brush strokes. Brushes provide the most flexibility between different inks as it can also be used for watercolor and white inks along with black inks. Here's a demonstration of adding highlights to hair with white ink. An earlier video I uploaded diving into white ink can be found here. The main trick in gaining more control over the pressure of your brush is how close your grip is. Gripping closer to the brush will allow you to make more intricate and fine lines. People who are interested in calligraphy also are well acquainted with brushes and inking comics would just be a natural extension of controlling line width. Finally, brush pens are also great for filling in large spaces without killing your pen's ink reservoir or nib. Overall, there is a wide array of inking tools for your manga depending on what you want to do with it with either fine lines or thicker lines. But I highly encourage that you experiment with your style to grow, but also use the tools you enjoy doing art with the most. And that's a wrap. If you're interested in learning more about making manga and comics, feel free to check out my other videos linked below. I'll see you next time.